Did you know that the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources has a great opportunity for exploring the wild right down the road from your house? Or for those that are adventurous, great destinations all across the Commonwealth. Hi, I'm John Kirk, Statewide Access Coordinator for the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources. And today, we're gonna unlock the mystery of what's beyond our bird and wildlife trail signs. Today, we're out at the Rappahannock River Valley National Wildlife Refuge, Hutchison Unit, a designated site on the Northern Neck Loop of the Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail. To tell us a bit more about this site, here's Jessica Ruthenberg, one of DWR's Watchable Wildlife Biologists. Hello, I'm Jessica Ruthenberg. I coordinate the Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail, which is a guide to all of Virginia's best places to view birds and other wildlife. The trail compiles a wide variety of both public and private lands into one helpful resource. It includes everything from nationally renowned birding hotspots to favorite local haunts to hidden gems, all of which are great places to view Virginia's wildlife and explore nature. The Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail contains over 600 designated sites, making it easy to find a place near you to go birding and wildlife viewing. Let me show you our online guide to the trail so you can plan your next adventure. Our online guide to the Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail is housed on DWR's website. Just go to virginiawildlife.gov backslash bird trail and scroll down for the option to choose from Virginia's coastal, Piedmont, or mountain regions. For our example, we are going to select the coastal region. Here you will find a map of the coastal region's designated bird and wildlife trail sites organized into local clusters called loops. These loops are designed to help you plan your adventures on the trail. You can select the loop you would like to explore by clicking on its name in the list. Today we are exploring the Northern Neck Loop. Once you click on the Northern Neck Loop, you will see a detailed map of the loop and all of its designated sites. To learn more about a site, click on its name in the list. This will open a new page with a detailed description of the site, directions, contact information, amenities, and a list of species you can expect to find. As you can see, DWR's website is the best place to start when planning your outdoor travels in Virginia. Whether you're interested in birding or viewing wildlife, or looking for places simply to enjoy nature, the Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail offers a tremendous resource to help you explore the wild. For those of you who enjoy exploring by boat, the Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail also includes some DWR maintained boating access sites, such as the Totoski Creek Boat Ramp. This offers the opportunity to view a variety of birds and wildlife as you either cruise or paddle Virginia's scenic waterways. A little something unique about the Bird and Wildlife Trail is that it incorporates both DWR sites and partner sites. This allows for a greater exploring opportunity when you're planning your next adventure. Let's head on over to another Bird and Wildlife Trail site on the Northern Neck Loop, the Wilna unit of the Rappahannock River Valley National Wildlife Refuge, where we'll be joined by Kendra, who can tell us a little bit about the refuge and other access opportunities. I'd like to welcome you to the Rappahannock River Valley National Wildlife Refuge. The refuge was established about 25 years ago for the protection of wildlife and habitat. We're currently only about halfway to the 20,000 acres we would like to be. The Wilna unit was one of the first units of the refuge and is not only home to our office, but offers a great opportunity for folks to view wildlife and spend some time in the great outdoors. The unit is open free of charge from dawn to dusk seven days a week with some closures for hunting in the fall. Our website will provide the details. On the Wilna unit, along with over 180 bird species, you can find hiking trails, observation platforms, and a photography blind. We ask that you take with you what you brought in, stay on designated trails, and leave your dogs at home. If you like to explore by water, the Wilna Pond is open to canoe, kayaks, and small electric boats, and you're welcome to fish as well. Follow state regulations, except for catch and release for bass, and require that you use non-lead sinkers. Whether you're planning an all-day adventure or exploring close to home, the Virginia Bird and Wildlife Trail has a spot for you. For more information, visit the DWR website listed below, and I hope you enjoy exploring the wild.